Hey, Tom here from King's Auto Repair, and today we are going to do a dynamic engine restoration from BG. On this Audi A7 has some oil consumption problems, and when it starts really burning a lot of oil, uh, it starts to misfire. So he's got about 2,000 miles on it since then. Uh, he said he's adding a quart every like 400 miles. So if we look in at the scan tool here, we can see we got some misfires on cylinder six. So we're going to see if we do this dynamic engine restoration, if that fixes our problem. So you might be asking, what is um, BG's dynamic engine restoration kit? So it's something that you can do to get back on BG's program. But what we're really interested in today is can it loosen up the oil rings on the pistons on that A7? So let's go take a look in the kit and let's see what we got. So this is their kit. Obviously, everything in here kills the fishes and it's corrosive. So uh, wear gloves, be very careful. So first thing we're going to do, we got their 44K. So if you got misfires and carbon buildup on the injectors, this will definitely help clean it out, make it run better. Down in the bottom here, well, I guess we'll pull out a flush kit first here. So here we got some rinse oil, a gallon and a half, so six quarts. That's going to be close enough to get us to run in this Audi. And we got their engine cleaner. So how this works is we take, you heat the, heat the car up real hot, drain the oil out of it, change the filter in it. Put this dynamic engine cleaner in along with a new filter because you want to be able to monitor the amount of junk that this actually cleans out. So you take this and in a gas engine, you will run this for 45 minutes at 3000 RPMs and then immediately take the filter out, drain it. Then you install a new filter and you run this rinse oil and you run that for 20 minutes at 3000 RPMs and then drain that out, install another new oil filter and oil, proper oil and a at a BG MOA for an oil stabilizer. So if you're on the BG protection plan and you skipped a little bit and you want to get back on it, um, you can do this, get back on it. Um, up to 125,000 miles, it'll give you the second tier of their protection plan, which isn't as good as the first tier, but if you're interested in it, I'll put a link in the uh, video notes here. So. All right, let's give this a shot. We've had the car running for a little while. We're going to go dump that 44K in it and uh, drain the oil out. First thing we're going to do is grab our 44K and our funnel here, and we're going to put our 44K fuel system cleaner in the tank. So I grab it, put a funnel in, and we're going to pop can open here and get our fuel system cleaner in. All right, drain that in. Make sure we don't drop any on the paint because it'll eat paint. And we're going to put our cap back on make sure it's tight all right so i got it set up on the lift and i pulled the pan off the bottom which is time consuming and we're gonna go and take the filter out right now and drain the oil so you hear the compressor run in the background so on these cars if it has a canister filter up top you always want to take that out first. This will allow the oil to drain down. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, a lot of times, if you're unfamiliar, a lot of times you actually, on these newer cars, there's actually no dipstick here. 
right here is where the dipstick should be, but this is actually just a port to suck oil out through the top. So oil change can be totally done through the top with a suction tool. But we are going to get every last ounce out of this that we possibly can. So let's grab a rag here. Grab ourselves a rag, pull our filter out, try not to make a mess. So this has about 2,000 miles on it. Let's get this. Filter actually does not look terrible. Looks pretty good, um, pretty clean, not too nasty. So that's really how we want them to look at about 5,000 miles. So to do this flush, we're going to get this O-ring off of here. We're going to go there. We're going to grab one of our... New filters, this is really hot. Set that down, not break it. And we're gonna grab our new filter and our new O-ring here and drop our new filter in. Grab our new O-ring and we're gonna screw this guy back on and then put it up and drain the oil the rest of the way. All right. That is also toasty. All right. Go grab a rag. We're going to get every all right, so we're almost done draining out here. We'll be good enough for this flush. And I think we're gonna put this back in. Say, see that oil? 2,000 miles on it, that's pretty black. So it's got a lot of junk in there. So we're gonna see how much junk we can actually get out of it. So. All right, heck, we'll just leave that in there for now. Let's go and let's grab our dynamic engine cleaner here. So the bench gets dirtier and dirtier with parts and tools and everything else. So uh, this stuff has all kinds of warnings on it, very corrosive, don't breathe it, all that kind of stuff. So we're actually gonna wash up and use some gloves when we put this on and put a little bit of uh, safety stuff around here so we don't ruin any paint. All right, so we got the hood back open again. We are going to put this dynamic engine cleaner in. Um, I got my safety gear on because, uh, yeah, all kinds of warnings about stuff. Don't breathe it. Don't kill the fish. Don't do lots of things. So we're going to open this stuff up. And we're going to put this cleaner into the engine. If you flip the bottle around, it actually comes out and doesn't slosh. But a bit of a pain when you're dealing with a big bottle like this. All right. All right, so we got our gallon and a half of flush in here. We are going to take this out, put the funnel in there so it can drip down in and we can dispose of this properly. I'll put our oil cap back on and we're gonna start this up and run it at three grand for uh, 45 minutes. We have moved outside to uh run this thing at 3000 RPM for uh, 45 minutes. So we're gonna run it here and just uh, kind of wait. All right, so we are at, well, 46 minutes. I had to stop and give it a little check. There was some smoke coming out from under the hood, but 
we found out that the left side valve cover starting to leak a little bit and that's where our smoke was coming from uh, one thing while running this it really really stank uh, the chemical that this is using to clean is definitely being burned through the engine on this you can smell it it is terrible um, so yeah definitely definitely burning some serious serious oil so uh, next step is to drain this out okay so we're back at the Audi we ran it for 45 minutes we're gonna pull this oil filter out and take a look it is really really hot um, one thing while this was running it stank really really bad it was it was downright terrible um, so I ran it outside with the windows down it was it was just downright terrible so Let's pull this filter out and take a look and see what, how much junk's in it. That is toasty. All right, so let's see what we got. Ooh, wow. All right, <clears throat> so let's see. You saw how clean that was going in. So we're not very black. You see, this is the one we just took out. Not super black black, but definitely darker than the other one. So it is definitely loosened stuff up in there. So we're going to get another filter in this and uh, dump out the old oil and insert the new stuff. We got our new filter in here. We're going to go. We're going to put this one down in here. It's really hot. So basically what this is supposed to do is loosen up any carbon that's on this vehicle inside the motor and allow it to kind of melt it and for the filter to catch it. So this is going to be insanely hot when we go to do drain the oil. Because so we've been running at 3000 RPM for Oh, 45 minutes. Oh, let me get this tight. That way we don't forget. All right. So, our oil, definitely dark. Definitely stinks, too. So we're going to let that drain out and we're going to run the cleaner oil through it. All right, so we got the drain plug back in. Dan was talking to me. Uh, we'll make a short of that. I uh, got that back in. I'm just going to leave that socket stuck in the plug for now. And we're going to roll this to the side, put it down, put the cleaner oil in. All right, so now we are going to grab our cleaner oil, rinse oil, and we're going to pour that in. And run it for 20 minutes at 3,000 RPMs. Put our cleaner oil in. So use the trick upside down so it doesn't slosh. All right, we got our oil in, only made a slight mess, and uh, get this out of here. Get our rinse oil over here, bucket over here, grab our oil cap, get that in place. Had a little rattle at start up there. So, gonna wait. 
everything pumps up and we're gonna run at three grand so 20 minutes all right so here we are we are at 20 minutes i let this slow down seems to be running pretty good pretty solid so let's uh get this filter out and see what happens all right so we got everything set up here again we're going to take this off it's hot enough the fans are running so let's grab this filter and see what the filter looks like see how black this filter is the rinse oil oh actually looks pretty good so our rinse oil actually looks pretty nice toasty so yeah we'll let that cool down a little bit we'll come back and we'll compare all three filters uh, we got you know the original here we got the one with the flush and now we got the one with the rinse oil and the rinse oil actually looks like it's pretty decent so we're gonna let this cap cool down a while so i don't have to burn myself putting it back on and we're gonna put it up and drain the oil out and put a new ceiling ring on that oil pan drain plug so we got the oil drainer set up we got our swivel we left our nasty 30 extension in here so we're gonna get our extension in here and we're gonna open this up and I don't think there's gonna be a lot in here and we're gonna let this drain all the way out this time we're gonna wait till it stops so Oh yeah, this basically has a very, very dim tinge to it. All right, you can see that. It's a very, very dim, dim tinge to it. It is not dirty at all, looks very much very much like uh, pretty clean oil so hopefully we got this all cleaned up and it'll stop the oil burning so we're gonna get a fresh oil change in here with some Pennzoil Platinum Euro and put the fresh filter in and we're gonna run this for a couple of days I already talked to the customer so we're gonna run it and we're gonna do some oil measurements on it and see how much it's actually burning after this so we got our new drain plug gasket in there. We got a drain plug tight, cleaned up the mess that it made. And uh, we're gonna put this down and put seven and a half quarts of uh, 5W40 in it. We got our MOA, which is our engine oil stabilizer. So this helps stabilize the engine oil. High temp cars like this, these extra stabilizers do help them and they do help prevent the carbon building up so we're gonna grab our funnel here you might ask why i'm using transmission funnel it's actually because this has a baffle right on top and this funnel is small enough to get the oil past the baffle so this is not the normal oil fill funnel I usually have uh, ones that adapt straight onto straight on to it so I'll let that drip into there and we're going to take this and we're going to put our seven and a half in it here so this get this funnel gets us past the baffle because if we hit the baffle there, it's very easy to overflow and have oil run out all over in this car. So a very common thing to do in a lot of automobiles is to put that baffle there. So we're just using a funnel to get it right, shoot it in right past that baffle. Alright, got our oil filled.
filled. Set that to the side. We're going to verify the O-ring is in the correct channel. All right, O-ring's in the correct channel. Get that in. Let's start it. Oil filter socket wrench. Okay, got that guy tight. And we're going to grab our oil cap. All right, so service is essentially done. We're going to start it up, check and make sure we don't have any leaks. But uh, now it's just to drive it and to find out, does it still burn oil? We got it fired up here. So I am going to drive this tonight and tomorrow I'm going to throw some plugs in it. And we're going to see, see how, uh, how this thing actually performs. So I get the plugs in it tomorrow and we'll be able to figure out... Uh, be able to figure out if it's still burning oil fairly quickly. So if we put a new set of plugs in it, it should show up. So um, stay tuned. We'll see what happens.